Do you know personally of any scientists or engineers that are in the process of developing new technology, robots or otherwise, to deal with Fukushima? And does any of it seem hopeful or promising to you? Right, okay. Um, uh, no is the answer to that. Uh, I, I think that, um, that all of the work that had been done with robots to try and sort out Chernobyl showed that it's impossible to use uh, robots because the problem is that the electronic systems that robots work on cannot sustain, um, uh, they cannot function when the radiation fields get too high. Because the radio see, when radiation impinges on, 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 on a substance, on, on a, a new material, what it does is it creates electrons. That's why it's called ionizing radiation. It ion, it, it, it's absorbed by the material, and it ionizes the material, which means that it kicks electrons out of the material. Now, the problem is that robots work on electrons. Your computer works on electrons. All of these chips, all of the, all the electronic chips that, that, that people use are all, are, are all work on electrons I and mean, you can't have a system where the electrons are just randomly being kicked out all over the place because you know ultimately the, the whole thing gets scrambled and that's what they found in in, in um, Chernobyl and they had, a, they, had a, they had they tried everything they tried the uh, German, Germans had some very fancy robots and then they tried uh, robots from somewhere else and they built their own robots and none of the robots worked they worked up to the point where they got into the high radiation fields and then they just went mad, went around in circles and sort of fell off the side. That's why in the end in Chernobyl they had to send men in. They called them bio-robots. And they just, they just called up 20,000 men from the reserve army list and they, they, they put roofing lead around them and, and sent them in to pick up this stuff while they their hands and throw, throw it over the side. And of course they all died. Uh, you won't hear that. I mean the international nuclear industry says that, says, says that nobody really died after Chernobyl except a few of the firemen right at the beginning. But there, there's an enormous number of, of uh, people who died because the Russians sent in these, these young men. And the young men just got huge radiation effects and then they died, or mostly died before they were 40. Terrifying. But this can't happen in Japan and the robots won't work. So as I say, there's nothing you can do. They just have to dig around it, isolate it, put up a big notice saying mankind's folly and, and keep it cool for, you know, for another thousand years or however long it is.